Patra, advocate of the Supreme Court. Thank you to all my guests for joining me on this edition picture. Mr. Saurabhji, I'd like to start with you first, of course, as a very eminent jurist. What are your thoughts on uh, the medical college bribery case? Well, uh, <clears throat> I think the whole matter could have been handled more judiciously. I think everyone went a little overboard. Justice Chinmeshwar, Master Order, Chief Justice reacted, rather overreacted, and then when the matter was heard, he passed the other, a three judge bench was assigned to hear that matter, and it passed the order. Now I can't understand why, but the petition, both the petitions, the uh, CJAC petition and Kami Jaisa petition, could have been heard by the Chief Justice and other five other senior most judges. He could have been done so. This gives an impression in the public mind that there is division in the judiciary, that there is conflicting opinions about the judges. And that's not a healthy thing for democracy. Because if the litigant, the consumer of justice, does not have confidence in the independence of the judiciary because of whatever reasons, then I think it's a sad day for Indian democracy. I'm very upset personally, frankly, at what has happened. I think it would have been done in a more statesman-like manner. The Chief Justice could have appointed, uh, of course, he's a master of the roster, hmm. but in any case, instead of Chamleshwar doing that, his order was also, in a way, not very mm, correct, if I may say so, because it's an appropriate bench. But then advocates not allowing Prashant Bhushan to speak, shouting him down and wanting contempt proceedings against him. I think the whole thing now should be resolved in a statesman-like judicial manner. And the Chief Justice could have heard both the matters together. Sure. There would have been no need for all this fracas. Sure. Just, Justice Sodhi, you know, the drama that we've seen unfold before our eyes over the last few days, could all of that have been avoided? What do you think should have been done? You know, it's, it's uh, very unfortunate what has happened. And, uh, of course, like uh, Mr. Sorabji, who has been in this court for, uh, for years, has explained to you that there are things which could have been avoided. But at the same time, I am of the opinion that there is a great duty cast on the lawyers to behave themselves in court. They cannot misbehave and or try and bully the court into, in, into a decision. Uh, yes, I think Justice Ch Chilmeshwar's uh, order was not appropriate in the event that he could not have formulated the bench. But there was nothing stopping the Chief Justice from, from being magnanimous by adopting his order. Uh, however, it is always the prerogative of the Chief Justice and he uh, well, recused himself and, and, and made another bench. But said and done, you know, this kind of things can always be avoided and, 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 must, be, uh, and must not appear as if the judiciary is, is divided in itself or each of them are casting any aspersion on the other. And uh, see, the independence of the judiciary is very, very important. And also at the same time, lawyers must, must behave themselves. They cannot scream, shout, abuse, uh, abuse judges and or browbeat them or try and show off that they, are, that they can get anything done from anybody, anybody by either blackmailing or by browbeating. This thing has to stop. There is some decorum. And that decorum must be followed. And of course, the, 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 the judges have a very difficult time, difficult task, let me tell you. It's very easy to administer law, mm. very difficult to administer justice, and very difficult to balance the two. In this case, I think uh, the Chief Justice, like Mr. Sarabji said, could have taken a, a, a better decision. But then the decision having taken as it has been taken, I, I, I find nothing wrong in it, really. Sure.
Okay, let me bring in uh, 